BTSE, can craft and capitalism coexist more than century ago? English artist and activist William Morris argued nothing should be made by man's labor which is not worth making, or which must be made by labor degrading to the makers. Morris and the followers of the arts and crafts movement, which spanned Britain, the United States and Japan in the late 19th century, argued that mass manufactured products devalued labor and led to cheap and ugly surroundings. It's not too big a stretch to argue that the 21st century version of that argument is by good things from real people. The motto of online crafts marketplace ETSE, founded a decade ago in Brooklyn, New York, the epicenter of the do-it-yourself DIY movement, ETSE is billed as the artisanal eBay, a place where crafters can sell their wares to like-minded buyers. The site has capitalized on a generational shift, where younger consumers value knowing where and how their purchases are made and are willing to spend more for that knowledge. Now, according to a filing with U.S. regulators, there are nearly 1.4 million Etchians, as EDSE sellers are known, who together sold a combined dollars 1.9 bn pounds 1.3 bn worth of knit caps, tables, and other handmade and antique goods to almost 20 million but as the company prepares to make its stock market debut later this week, with an estimated value of dollars 1 bn. The question is whether its DIY spirit can survive the pressures of shareholders that are often ruthless in their demand for growth and profits. Only good in 2012, DTSE Chief Executive Chad Dickerson wrote in a blog post that the company had sought AB Corporation certification. That is a private label granted to firms that audit their business, rating their efforts on such criteria as workplace diversity to sustainability. We believe that business has a higher social purpose beyond simply profit, he wrote. News of the company's decision to lift on teeth, 